In Oregon, the Fur Mountain Fire is burning near Hood River, the Worthington Fire near Medford, and the Matlock Fire just south of Pendleton. And as of August 3rd, there has been 914 fires in the state of Oregon. Peak wildfire season is just beginning. The National Interagency Fire Center says there is a high risk of large wildfires in certain areas of Oregon in August. Just take a look at this map. Everything in white is normal risk. Red means above normal. Jim Gershbach is with the Oregon Department of Forestry. Well, August is always a month in Oregon where you're going to see, uh, because of the fuels drying out, the, the grass, the brush, the vegetation, the forests are dry in August, typically. It's one of our drier months. So far in 2020, there have been fewer fires altogether on ODF-protected lands, 468 to be exact. Yeah, it's an interesting year. Mother Nature has given us a little bit of a break so far in that we've had... Um, 70, now, on lands that Oregon Department of Forestry protects, we've had 73 fewer lightning fires. That's compared to the 10-year average. Lightning-caused fires are down this year. That's the good news. The bad news is that the number of fires that are associated with humans, that have been caused by humans, that is actually up by 11%. ODF says there are a few things you can do. Don't have a campfire. I know that seems almost unheard of when camping. Make sure your trailer chains don't drag on the road and cause sparks. And third, don't park your car over dry grass. That fuel underneath that car can be dry enough to, to be started on fire by just the heat of the undercarriage of your automobile. Fewer fires mean fewer large gatherings of firefighters. And during a pandemic, state officials would like to avoid any potential outbreaks. The large wildfire that doesn't get started is one less fire that we have to worry about bringing large numbers of firefighting people together to fight. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.